He's gone through so many ups and downs. He's had wild success, but he's also had huge disappointments, shattering disappointments, but he's still writing. I think that's a test of character. Thank you. It was the middle of winter, so New York was so bleak, and as usual, I was struggling financially. I heard from Lynn Meadow that Terrence wanted to write a play for four of his favorite actors, one of whom was, was me. Lips Together was about people living in denial about cancer and infidelity and middle age and paranoia about AIDS. They all sort of agreed to do a play that I hadn't really written yet. We were all much younger and the world was a different place. I, I periodically called the Manhattan Theater clients. How's Terrence doing with that play? He's still working on it. I'm waiting and waiting. Finally, I got the call. So I got the script. Got back on the subway, started to read it. Got home, I said to my wife, this is terrible. This is terrible, I can't do this. She said, you have to do it. He wrote it for you. Frankly, uh, it was a bloodbath. It was very raunchy, and I felt couldn't be played on, on the stage. We did the first reading, and both Christine and Nathan got very angry because they had been promised rewrites. So at one point, uh, Tony threw the script across the, <laughs> the room and said, well, this will never work. This is the first time in my career I ever did this. I actually spoke up and very honestly to Terrence. I said, you've put us in a position where I don't know if we'll be able to reach that place where the play will be ready. And it was scary. I just left to go to the ladies' room and Terrence saw me in the hall and he said, thank you for that. I, I, I hear what you have to say. I heard what you have to say. Thank you so much. And I will never forget that as long as I live. And it's like he just went home and boom, it sprang out of his head, right onto the paper. It was just beautiful. One minute people are laughing and the next minute it's like, oh, wait a minute. And it leads into my favorite thing that Christine says to me. And he says, I, I just, I need to know the truth. And she says, the truth, the truth. The truth has hurt more people than all the lies that were ever told.